Are you rolling? I can't tell. <laughs> yes. Rolling. Um, hi, Wendy here again. I am at the Louisiana State Archives in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm here for the exhibition at the West Baton Rouge Museum and thought we would, we had a little free time and we would go uh, museum touring around town today. First stop is here at the archives where we're looking at a fabulous exhibition um, based on astrological signs of Louisiana luminaries. And George Rodriguez is one of those, and so are many of the people that George painted. And many people you've never heard about, and you can come and learn about here at the archives. So here at this area, we have a lovely Rodrigue bronze. This would be from 1975 or thereabouts. George would have made this bronze actually not here in Louisiana, but in Santa Fe, New Mexico. He, many people don't know that he made his bronzes um, at Shadoni Foundry in Tosuki, actually, just outside of Santa Fe. Um, in order to make this, George would have first made it in clay. You can even see some of his handprints all in the bronze there and his thumbprints. Um, he, the way he explained it to me was that he had a really uh, big challenge of what to do about the tree, because as we know from George's paintings, such as the one just across the room there, can you peer at it, Douglas? Normally, George would cut his tree off at the top, right? So that the light shines from underneath and so that we were invited in and that the sky would be small. But here with the bronze, how do you do that? So George decided to cut it off in another way, in a quite more literal way. So who do we have here? Well, of course, we have the lovely Evangeline who was searching for her Gabriel, as in uh, Longfellow's poem, A Tale of Acadie, um, about the uh, Le Grand Arrangement, the Cajun expulsion um, in 1755 by the British. And of course that history was extremely important to George because George was descended from four Rodrigue brothers who uh, traveled, who walked, and took pirogues all the way from Canada uh, down into South Louisiana, first arriving in New Orleans. Uh, then into Chack Bay, and eventually into New Iberia, which is where George was born and raised. Evangeline, of course, searched forever and ever uh, for her Gabriel, her love. They were separated in this expulsion. Um, she eventually did find him just as he was dying, um, but up in the Northeast, not in Louisiana. Um, I think the story goes that Longfellow never even visited Louisiana, but wow. Uh, the tale, of course, is truly the tale of AKD and she is a real uh, Louisiana heroine. And George, of course, has made her part of the tree here and blended the two together so that she is both growing out of it and trapped within it. Um, yeah, she is inseparable from the land. And George felt very strongly that way about the Cajuns, about his people. So thank you for listening, and I hope that you will come and see this lovely exhibition at the Louisiana State Archives, which is on view through December. And then they're gonna have another great one, possibly something about the 1984 World Fair. So all kinds of cool things going on. And don't forget the West Baton Rouge Museum. Uh, George Rodriguez, The River is the Road, on view through October 30th, 2023. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.